So here we are, we've got our circuit finished. It's time to test it. We're going to take what's called a multimeter. This is a tool of an electrician. This is a digital version. They come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. This is a tool that's going to allow us to check our circuit, all of our connections, make sure that everything is hooked up properly and that everything is tight and ready to go. Keep in mind, we're not energizing this circuit, so we're gonna use what's called a resistance test. Resistance is going to check to make sure that there is continuity or a continuous path from one end of a conductor to whatever other end that we're testing that so there can be a continuous flow of current through that conductor when we do energize it. You will be able to do this uh, continuity test for resistance with the uh, multimeter that you have. This one, it might be a little different than yours, but they're all similar. They're going to have a digital readout on them and there'll be a dial. There'll be a couple of probes that are going to get connected to one end of a conductor or a circuit and then to a second end. That's what we're testing. And there's a bunch of settings on the dial. You are going to set this to resistance and resistance is going to have a a symbol that looks like an omega. That's a Greek symbol that stands for ohms. Ohms are going to be our units of resistance. I'm going to set this on the lowest setting for resistance just to get a reading. So my lowest reading is 200. My highest reading is going to be two megs. We don't need that high setting. So this particular model of circuit tester is going to read OL when there is no continuity or no connection in the circuit that you're testing. And OL stands for over limit, which means it cannot read that high of resistance. Resistance is basically a choke in the circuit and infinite choke would be a break in the circuit. So if you do not have continuity through a circuit, you'll get an OL. Once I touch these two leads together, we are uh, closing this circuit. So it's measuring between the probes and now I'm getting a reading of should be close to zero, which I'm at 003, which is almost zero, zero, zero. So I'm gonna call that zero resistance. In real world, there's always some resistance in everything. So we're gonna allow a few points there. I'm using this as a mock-up circuit. I'm gonna show you a few circumstances that you can apply to any circuit for testing. This is sort of universal rules. Just to make this shot a little better, I've hung this digital meter here near my box so you can get a clear view of what's going on. I've got both my probes. I'm going to probe this connection, my ground connection here, with one of these ends. And then I can touch my ground terminal on my duplex receptacle and I should get continuity which should be almost close to zero on my meter there and I'm at a 003. So I'm going to say that my connection from this wire through my wire nut to my terminal, all of those are good. That is my first stage. Remember we put a pigtail in here. So we've not only tested this wire through to this wire nut, but we've also gone to here. So all those connections are good. We could also test from our ground to our ground prong in here. And what that's doing is it's measuring into this receptacle. And now I know that I have a connection all the way through to there. So you can think of it as paths through these wires, through these devices, through your wire splices. You're thinking of connections that are being made just like you're wiring it. We're just testing those. So if I tested my neutral wire here, I've got one probe on my white wire here and I can test into this wire nut. That's another way we can do it. So as I'm sticking this probe into the wire nut, I'm trying to find the bare wires in there and it should read, see if I can get it to work. It's going to read 004, which is telling me that's a good uh, solid continuity through there or a good connection. So I can measure one more uh, point beyond that path. I'm going from my white conductor all the way to my silver terminal, which is through the pigtail. That's going to be, should be a good connection. I'm at 
0.003. And keep in mind that these numbers are going to jump around. They're going to level out when it gets a good connection. Make sure that you're touching metal with each end of the probe. That's critical. If you're only touching insulation or you're not far enough into, say, the outlet uh, slot, then it won't read properly. So I'm going to, once again, take my neutral wire here and I'm going to measure to my wide slot, which is on the silver terminal side of this duplex receptacle, we can check that connection. What this is testing is that I have a solid connection through my device to the blade that will connect to whatever my appliance is. And that's reading at 004. It's floating 004, 005. That's telling me that's a good connection. I only have one more wire to test. That's my black wire. So I'm going to hold it tight on that wire. And I can test over here on this side. I'm going to test this terminal here, this gold terminal. I can test either terminal and it's reading at 004. I could also test here at the wire knot if I wanted to. And I can also test this blade or this blade slot in my receptacle. All of those should measure close to zero on my resistance. That's telling me that I have continuity through my circuit to this point. We can then move up the chain, up the circuit, and we can change our length of wire that's in there, measure different connections. I'll move on from here to, I'll start with my ground again, and I'm going to go to my switch here. I've got a ground connection here at my switch, and I'm going to go ahead and touch that. And that should read almost zero, 004, so that one's good. I can also go to my neutral, and keep in mind, we're going through our circuit, we're remembering it. With every switch, there's no connection to our neutral wires. So I'm going to check in here at my wire nut and make sure you make contact with that wire nut or with the bare wires inside of there. This is a little tricky sometimes to hold both, but I'm looking good at 003. That's telling me I have continuity or a continuous path from the beginning of the feed wire all the way to this neutral wire at this box. My last conductor to test in this box is going to be my hot wire. The trick of this test is knowing which wire to test first. So I know that my feed wire comes in through this box and into here. I need to trace that wire and make sure that I get the right black wire. We have two of them, and if we get it mixed up, it's going to be confusing. So I'm going to make sure, I believe that this is my wire that's coming in from here. I'm going to check this black wire, one probe on my feed conductor, and then I'm going to test this gold terminal at this black wire, and I have 004. That's good. If I test the other terminal, it's giving me an OL. That's over the limit. It says there's a break in that circuit. The reason there's a break is because the switch is off. So if we turn the switch on, we should get continuity through here, and our resistance should read close to zero. Let's go ahead and test that. So I'll go ahead and put a probe on there, and we are at 004. So we're good. There is a connection through the switch when it's turned on to this terminal. We can then move on to our next box and then think about the circuit and what's happening down there. Make sure whenever you have a switch, when you go to the next box, make sure that you leave that switch in an on position. That's going to carry our continuity and ultimately any electricity through this circuit to the next uh, place in the path. What you don't want to do is to mistake it, have the switch off, and then you get really confused when you don't get the readings that you're looking for. So I hope that makes sense. This logic or this process, you can work through any circuit. All you're doing is reviewing that circuit, how you put it together, and then touching these probes to various points on those connections to test to make sure that all those, uh, those connections, wire to wire or wire to terminal connections, are good and solid. So I hope this makes sense. Good luck in testing all these circuits. I know you did great and these are going to turn out fine. If you run into a problem at any point in this circuit, you're, you need to identify where that problem is. It's generally going to be a loose connection or a wrong connection. So look for wires that are matched or mismatched 
or connections that are loose or made improperly. Sometimes you might even need to investigate to the point to where you have to undo a, a wire nut and check to make sure that all of your conductors are making contact in there. But the purpose of the multimeter is to help you uh, hone in or focus in on exactly where that problem is. So at the point that you get an OL or a bad reading, you have identified the source of your problem. So stop there and evaluate.